gaining and maximizing customer value appears to have become key to profitability for Nigeria's commercial banks as many review their products, offering and delivery approach. Now, according to a report released by CUC Consultant, customer lifestyles, behavior and preference now determine what Nigerian retail bank customers want from their banks. Chukuka Monye, CEO of CUC Consultant, joins me now in the studio to unpack that report for us. Thank you so much, Chukuka, for taking the time out to join us. Now, it's quite an interesting report that you put together looking at uh, how, uh, in, how customers view their banks and what makes them come back a second time or a third time or you know, perhaps a lifetime of uh, loyalty. But uh, for you, let's look at uh, what your key findings were. Okay, thanks for having me, Esther. Uh, I'll say that first of all, uh, we're beginning to find out that people actually, customers actually care about customer service, even though what we're also finding out is that they're beginning to define differently what customer service or what customer experience is to them. Um, for example, um, a lot of the customers, when we ask them about their preferred customer care attributes, they're not so excited or thrilled about the front end being very polite. They want responsiveness. They want quick turnaround time. Everybody wants it quickly done. Um, and that's why you can easily tell that this is the sort of direction banking is going. Technology must sort of drive the services that, are, um, that they're offering the customers. ATM, in terms of their preferred channels, they want ATM. 54% of them said ATMs are their preferred uh, channels for transacting business. Let me come in here if, you, yes. if I will. Uh, when did this shift happen as a way? Because 10, 15 years from now, not that people didn't care the kind of services that their banks offer to them, uh, they just went with, uh, they just, actually I use the phrase, rolled with the punches. You know, people didn't really, they ju just didn't bother. You just go to the banking hall, you queue for hours, you get your you know, service, whether or not the frontline the officer is polite to you or not. And then, you know, you just, you go your way. Okay, so I think one of the, imp one of the things we need to appreciate too is just Nigeria's demographic as a whole. We know that the young working class, the young adults, the younger population um, serve as your majority of your bank customers. Now, when you look at that and when you look at general global trends, what you find is that, oh, technology is what's driving everything. Why is Twitter, why is um, Facebook, why are all these things being adopted by that same demographic globally? Because that's what they're used to, that's what's trending. Um, so, you even find that, despite the fact that a lot of people are not doing social media banking, for instance, um, those that have social media accounts are sort of perceived to be cutting edge. And in the minds of a lot of young people, that sort of translates to, oh, you're doing well. Because that's just the way, that's the trend now. So we cannot discount the fact that there's a huge young population. And do the banks are aware of this and you think they're keying into it? I think a lot of the banks are beginning to key into it. Um, so I know that one of the trends now is that a bank would use their Twitter and they use their um, other social media platforms to do their promotions. Um, they're using it to, for customer service, um, customer experience management. They're using it for all sorts of things now. Um, and that's for the young people demographics, perhaps, uh, like you said, between the ages of uh, but the teenagers, perhaps up until 21? Well, so, so for the teenagers, up until about 25, they're actually interested in social media. Are they transacting yet? It, not necessarily, but they're telling you that hmm, if you're a bank doing this, you'll be attractive to us, okay? But when you look at the older group, the older age brackets, they're still telling you ATM is important because for them, they cannot go and you know stand in the long queues in the bank branches. I mean, how many people in the in the study responded favorably to transacting in branches? Only sixteen or eighteen percent. Okay, so everybody's going the way of uh, ATM, ATM, online, mobile uh, phones, okay. internet banking. They want it quick. They want that's for them. That's that's that's. That's the product. Okay, let's break it right down uh, to the nitty gritty. For an average customer across the demographics that you did, what is it the number one, the key factor that makes them go back to a bank? Is it what they perceive the bank to be? Is it perception? Is it experience? So, a few factors, yeah. Um, even though I would say that the primary one is experience. If they've had the best experience, they'll come back to you, okay? 
But we also found out that there's a correlation between the size of the bank and the way people perceive the bank. As a brand of the bank also? Yes. Okay. You know, so for instance, um, oh, you, you, you talk to some of the respondents and they say, we like this bank because they just acquired XYZ Bank, the acquisition was seamless, they integrated well, therefore they are good. Well, they must be good. They must be good. So to them, their interpretation of that is they are also good with customers. Something they, is good about them and they'll keep my money Yeah, and they'll keep my money safe. It means they've got skill, they're, they're nimble, and things like that. So for them, in their mindset, I think I'll, I'll definitely bank with this, uh, uh, with this bank. Um, but, but beyond all of that, I think what's, what's interesting and what a lot of the banks should begin to note is that every touch point matters. You know, Don't look at the bank branch alone. Don't look at the ATMs alone. You need to look at every other thing because at the end of the day, you have to sort of look at the customer from several touch points. Why? Um, you might think ATM is more important because oh, the respondents, or oh, 54% of them prefer ATM. But the moment they have a bad experience in any other touch point, psychologically, they make a connection. Do, would you, could we also say that this uh, perhaps also has a lot to do with what the CBN has been doing within the regulatory space? Absolutely. Um, I will use this opportunity to add that a lot of the respondents um, are actually happy. They feel CBN is on their side. So when they hear CBN saying, oh, you bank, the banks need to reduce their COT, their bank charges, uh, they need to do this, we need to find ways to reduce interest rates, uh, the customers are beginning to pick on that. And because they're aware, they're becoming more savvy, and they're beginning to look forward uh, um, into the future and analyze banks with that view of what bank will actually provide me the kind of service that I would like. Okay, well, Chukuka, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for that uh, very uh, interesting insight into the report and, uh, of course, retail banking space and what customers look out for and uh, what keeps them loyal to their banks. Chukuka Monye, uh, Chief Executive Officer and Managing Partner at CUC Consultant.